What's up everybody, this is Brandon with Premier Guitar. Today we're looking at the Mad Professor Double Moon. Uh, this is one of their newest uh, offerings and I have to say, as soon as I plugged it in, I was immediately impressed and I don't have to say that about any pedal that we do uh, reviews on, but this thing is especially lush and we'll get into the nuts and bolts here. All right, so we'll take a super quick look at this because this is a multi-effect. This is a modulation monster. So. This thing offers three different types of choruses. Actually, no, make that six, because three standards, three doubles, then two flangers, then a dual flanger, then a flanger and chorus in parallel, and then a vibrato. And so just to go over that one more time with the dial here, this is your rotary knob. This is how you select which effect you want. Chorus one is mild. Chorus two is classic and dreamy. Chorus three is tasteful, smooth, sort of a faux Leslie if you, if you dial in right. Uh, the next one here is a lush three-dimensional sounding dual chorus. Uh, this one is a second dual chorus option which uses two delay lines that are modulated 120 degrees out of phase from one another. And DC3 is going to be your, uh, there's a dual chorus with choruses that are modulated at different speeds. Uh, short delay time flanger, which is F1. F2 is going to be a longer delay time flanger. F3 is a dual flanger, and this sound uses two delay lines that are modulated 180 degrees out of phase. FC is a flanger and chorus in parallel, and V is your vibrato. So that's all the effects this thing has packed, and then you have uh, speed, depth, tone, for any of the ones that you have selected, obviously. Um, and the control, this differs upon which algorithm you have selected. I call it algorithm, but that's just which effect you want. Um, so basically the control knob does a different function per effect, uh, but to do really quick, it shares upon some of the common uh, effects. So the control knob on C1 will be your LFO wave shape. And basically, if you look at the manual, depending on where you're pointing this, is a different waveform. Uh, and that is also uh, the same control for all the Cs there. Um, and then when you go to DC1 and 2, it is the LFO wave shape as well. And then you go to DC3, and this turns into the speed difference between the choruses. Go over to F1, this is regeneration for F2, regeneration. DF regeneration, FC regeneration, and then vibrato, you're back at your LFO wave shape selection. So basically it just selects waveform or regeneration, depending on which mode you're in. And that's it. Let's get back to some sounds. Okay, so I opened in the C1 mode, your standard mild chorus. I did have a little bit of the warble blended in with it. Um, I really like that kind of stuff, so I decided to do that. And with a pedal like this, we could spend all day going through every sound, but I'm just going to go through some of my favorites. Um, I literally plugged this in once before we started shooting, and I found three or four that I really liked right off the bat, so I'm going to stick with those. Uh, I'm playing a really cool St. Vincent Music Man signature here uh, through the Double Moon, and this is deceiving. I'm not playing this amp. It's just a stand. We're going into a 79 high watt uh, DR504 uh, Custom 50. So uh, let's get right back into it. I'm going to hop onto the vibrato over here. I'm going to put the speed around 10 o'clock, uh, depth around 10, tone, let's go right up in the middle at noon, and the control, uh, I'm going to have that right in the middle too. So uh, let's just bring some chords and see what the vibrato can give us real quick. <laughs> cater to taste. See what we can do with this vibrato here. Let's brighten that up a little. Slow it down a little. And a little 
darker, and let's go really fast, this is going to be wacky. Let's sweep the speed and see how slow it can go and then how fast it can go. As you can see, very usable, very uh, musical, smooth vibrato. Not too choppy at all, even when the depth is pretty high. Uh, let's hop over to a flanger now. Uh, let's, go with, uh, let's go with classic F1, see what that does. I'm gonna have the depth uh, around two o'clock. Uh, speed, maybe about 10, kind of slow and low setting. Um, put the tone in the middle just to be safe. And let's see what we could do. Pretty classic tasty flanging there. Uh, let's crank the depth a little more. I want to go a little slower even. And let's hop over to F2 just to see what that can do. Uh, see, it'll be a little different uh, than the F1 mode, but let's, let's see, let's just see. With a lot of modulation pedals like this, when you find yourself at the beginning and the end of a flange, um, I should say cycle, you sometimes will hear a little click or a pop. I, don't, I haven't heard any of that with this. It's very smooth. Um, I actually really, really am, am digging this pedal. Uh, I want to go to the double flange uh, and see what that can do. I'll just, for, for good measure, for comparison's sake, I'll just play the same thing and leave the controls where they were. And uh, let's just see what the dual flange will, uh, will differ there. Very cool. Alright, so maybe let's try one more thing. Um, uh, let's go to, we haven't done the dual chorus yet. Let's do dual chorus number two. Uh, depth, maybe three o'clock, speed, noon, tone, noon, control, whatever, waveform is the middle. I don't know. This is a first look after all. Uh, we'll find out. Let's see. Okay. Do some more catering to taste here. I'm gonna darken it up a little bit. I'm gonna speed it up a little bit and crank the depth. See how, uh, how crazy this thing can get. And let's try C3 uh, for good measure. This will be our final little sample for the day. And I'm going to go depth at 10, speed at 10, tone at 10, 
Let's just do a 10 o'clock setting, see what that does. And a final tweak. Well, I think I'm going to end it on that. I really like this pedal. I've said that a couple times because I mean it. Uh, if you get a chance to check one out at a local shop, I definitely recommend it. It's a really good bang for the buck. I don't remember the exact street price, but I'm sure it's very reasonable because this is a Mad Professor pedal and they are really good at that kind of stuff. Anyways, signing out. This is Brandon. Take care.